Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and I have a fun little Easter or spring treat box for you this morning. I made this box as a slider to hold some bunny bait trail mix. I ended up using a sentiment that says hello spring so that you really could use it for Easter or even later on into the spring. Now inside are little treats that I found at my local Target. They're called bunny bait trail mix. It's Archer Farms so that's Target's brand. They always have a variety of trail mixes and my kids love them. So we always try the new ones that come out. All right, the stamp sets I'm going to use are the Hello Easter you can find in the 2018 Occasions catalog and the Thoughtful Banners that are in the um, annual catalog, the big catalog. All right, we're going to start with powder pink cardstock, eight and a fourth by four and a fourth. You want to score the long side at three and three fourths and four and a half and then score the short side at three fourths and three and a half next you're just going to get your scissors and we're going to trim these score lines along the long side then cut a little sliver just a little triangle off of each of the long tabs like that so do it on both sides Then you want to burnish those lines just fold them in and we're going to put adhesive on the outside of the middle tabs and on the inside of two of the long tabs make sure you're using some good adhesive like fast fuse or tear and tape now take these little tabs and fold them inside of the tabs that we didn't put adhesive on then take those long tabs that we did put adhesive on and fold them over just like that and there you have a simple box all right let's do the front I am using this beautiful sweet soiree designer series paper I don't know if you can tell but it's got a little bit little bit of shimmer on it the size is two and a half by three and a half now these measurements will be on my blog check the link if you're watching on YouTube check the link down there at the bottom to go over to the post on my blog all right, so we're going to stamp the bunny first. We're gonna do him in soft suede. We're gonna just do him on a scrap of white. We're gonna to have to fussy cut him because he doesn't have, oops, let's leave that open. He doesn't have a, um, a framelit, but that's okay, he's easy to cut out. Now I'm using this banner from the Thoughtful Banners. And let's see, let's see if I can remember. When you punch, you want the banner like that. So we're gonna have it at the top of our paper so we can just slide our punch in. All right, but that's actually upside down for our stamp. So let's turn it and get the Hello Spring. I like to see where I'm stamping before I do it just to make sure it's gonna be easy to punch out. Sometimes you punch in the middle of the paper and you have to cut off some of your paper to get to it. There we go. This is the Banner Duo Punch. That is a really good tool to have. It matches all these banners in the Thoughtful Banners uh, stamp set. All right, now to fussy cut, get your smallest, sharpest scissors and just start going around the outside of your bunny. Stay on the outside of him, leave a little white border around him. We're going to pop him up on a white circle so your white the white around him isn't going to show very much. Your eye is only going to see the bunny. So if your cutting skills aren't that great and you don't like to fussy cut, don't worry. Just stay on the outside of the, of the image and cut off some of that excess paper as you go. That'll make it easier. And don't turn your scissors. Turn your image like that. That'll help you get a smoother cut. Go all the way around him and there we go. All right, so we're gonna get, this is a stitched circle that I cut out with a stitched shape framelits. And I'm going to, to put the banner first with a dimensional, and then the bunny with a dimensional. And I thought he needed a cute little fuzzy tail. So I went to my local craft store and bought some of these tiny little white pom-poms. They're the tiny ones. I think there's 
250 in the bag, so I've got bunny tails for years. And the best way to, to glue this, to adhere this, I think, is with some of our Tombow liquid glue. So let's put that down there like that and close up our ink pads before we have a disaster. And we're going to put this right in the center of the box. Now this project I designed for my stamp club to go. All of them will receive this project in the mail in, in a, as a thank you for their order this month. If you're interested in my stamp, Cl stamp Club to Go program, let me know. I have a few openings each month. It's a great way to build up your products at home. All right, so now we're gonna let that tail dry. I'm gonna move them over for a little while. I added a little decoration here to the top of the bag because I didn't like it just sitting there by itself. I wanted it to be cute with something kind of to grab onto. So I'm using this really cute thinlet from the Sweet Soiree bundle. And it is a intricate die, which means you need to use your platform that's going to help cut it. It's not just your regular platform, and the name is escaping me. I'll have it on the supply list on my blog. You're going to put that down, and then your paper, and then your framelit. I always forget the name of this, precision base plate. There we go, it pops in later. I always forget its name for some reason. So you're only gonna use one clear plate on top of your precision plate. That's gonna give it more pressure and you can see that it cut pretty well. Let's move that out of the way and get our die brush. The die brush will help get out most of those doodads. Well, look at that, it just fell right out beautifully. So beautiful. All right, so now I'm gonna use a dimensional right here in the corner. And I'm gonna stick that on like that. All right, the last little piece is our uh, Blushing Bride stitched ribbon. I adore this ribbon so much. And it has X's and X's on one side and, and straight stitches on the other. So decide which, which you like better. And when you pull your second loop through, turn your ribbon so that the X's will, or the lines, whichever you choose, will match the outside, on the outside, because otherwise you'll have X's on one side and stitches on the other. Kind of have to, have to manipulate your ribbon to get it to, to do what you want it to do. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of that glue right there and stick this right on top of that dimensional. And that's it. Now I don't want to pull it too much right now because it's wet, but there you have it. A cute little, whoops, a cute little spring or Easter easy gift box and something a little bit different than Easter candy. All right, you guys, make sure you hop over to my blog to find all the dimensions and everything that you need. Um, and let me know if you have questions. Also, let me know if, you, if you're interested in my Stamp Club To Go program. We'd love to have you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.